Do we know anything about sort of workshop uh, personnel or, or setup? For um, the early Islamic period, we don't have the records, you know, for the workshops and so on. We have for uh, later workshops in the uh, 17th century, for instance, in Mughal India. Mm. And uh, because all these uh, European travelers, you know, and scholars and so on, you know, gave us some accounts of what they see, so and so on. And uh, so, of course, there were, and we can be sure that anyway, there were assistants. Oh, yeah. It's true. yeah. For instance, for the sewing of the blocks, you know, you have big sews, so probably bow sews, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, so one uh, hand for uh, each apprentice where at, you know, both ends of right. the sew, right. doing, you know, uh, running. Yes, the yeah. Thing. And also one other could, you know, pour the uh, uh, abrasion and water, uh, right. powders and uh, water. So well, and it yeah. seems like such a highly skilled form of craft that you would have to mm -hmm. have that, that kind of lengthy apprenticeship with different yeah. steps being learned. Absolutely, and, and uh, um, um, for sure, uh, because we saw that on ethnographic, you know, records and so on, that you have to start when you are very young. Yes, yeah. <laughs> when you are a child, you know. And of, at the beginning, they probably were, you know, running the bow for the master. Mm. And also doing the, um, uh, the tubular drilling as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the scut the work. Yeah, yeah. And crushing, you know, the powder and so right. on. What they did in the Renaissance, for instance, you know, when uh, for the pigments were crushed yeah. for the painters. And exactly. So, yeah. You give the kids the, the jobs that Absolutely. you can trust them with. Absolutely. And yeah. no more. <laughs> 